Okay guys, waiting for the new Iron Maiden album, which is gonna be released on the 3rd of September. Why don't we talk about the latest album, which is The Book of Souls. It's good to know where we are coming from, what, what was the last chapter of the band. So this album is 2015, wow, time flies. Let's have a look at the packaging first. So it's gonna be six years from one album to another. Do you remember guys, the 80s, they release an album per year and what albums anyway so this is the splendid packaging of the book of souls here is the track list and here is well it's very nice it's perfect but uh, only if you have space because it's it's like a book it's the book of souls this edition is brilliant all the lyrics and uh photos as well at the no photos no there is only this photo to be honest i remember that it was more than one anyway uh this album um i didn't change my mind uh there was a written review in italian given to rock.com uh six years ago now and i didn't change my mind i think it's a very good album but could have been shorter of course from uh, starting from the length of some songs and in the track list as well is only 11 songs but they are very long and also not all the songs are something you know there are some tracks that you skip at least as for me maybe when the river runs deep it there are some tracks that didn't leave me a good taste let's put it this way uh, but there are some songs that i love that you know by now it's six years so you know already what songs you want to listen again so for me it's definitely if the eternity should fail speed of light it is it's the kind of song that i want to hear from iron maiden uh, the book of souls is a good very good um, title track death or glory very straight to the point that's what i want to hear from iron maiden too uh, tears of a clown a dickinson uh, style song very good for me uh, empire of the clowns of the clouds is the closing track is 80, 18 minutes long um it, it's good it's not a proper iron maiden track but it's something different of course this the album is produced by kevin shirley mix and uh, mixed as well by Kevin Shirley. For me, uh, it's not really appropriate for Iron Maiden. What I don't like is not the sound, it's more the voice of Bruce Dickinson. To me, it sounds very dry. I don't know, I would like to hear something different for Bruce Dickinson's voice, but this is something that we had in the last 20 years, basically, from uh, Dance of Death is the first album produced by Kevin Shirley. Correct me if I'm wrong, Brave New World, not sure about Burn Your World, maybe Dance of Death. I didn't say anything about the cover. CD cover, amazing. It's very Iron Maiden, but new. The logo, simple. I mentioned uh, Dance of Death. Do you remember that cover? Yes, it's something really different. It's I like more this style, very straight to the point. Only one thing to focus rather than millions of things. So, rating, uh, considering, uh, you know, when I rate an album, I consider everything. I consider the age of the band, 50 going to 60. To me, this is sort of the best they can do. Well, of course, they can do even better if they reduce, the, you know, some long intros. I think we all agree about the length of the songs and about the length of the intros. But leaving this aside and leaving that fact that there are few songs that maybe they could have been cut for the uh, on the main track list, I think it's a very good album overall. So I give 70 out of 100. So after six years, if you ask me, uh, put just these tracks on the CD, I would say If Eternity Should Fail speed of light and death of glory probably they're not the best songs again but they are the tracks that i want to listen to skip tracks there are some maybe the great unknown there are no bad tracks they all make sense but considering that it's a very long album i would have cut some songs maybe eight songs for this one would have been great you know like i mentioned the 80s 
You remember the number of the beast, peace of mind, eight tracks, nine tracks, stuff like that. I think that it's enough. Anyway, this is my opinion about the Book of Souls with an amazing cover. And you let me know what you think about the album and, you know, waiting for the next album. And yeah, let's keep connected and we're going to talk about it a lot. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you. Rock and roll.